In a quarter mile, take a left-hand turn at Creative Loitering on YouTube and Instagram and Facebook. And please, have a great day and goodbye. Creative Loitering Podcast. Episode 10. <laughs> Mel May Use, Bethany Autumn, and Robert Barrow talk about producing their latest fashion video. Robert, put the camera away. Not right now. Mel May Use is a New York creative director and producer. He started in front of the camera as a model and worked his way to behind the scenes where he is now producing and creative directing fashion shows, music videos, photo shoots fashion films and more. He recently launched I Create Productions to bring next level projects to the capital region. Well, thanks for coming by, Mo. Thanks for having me. And we've got Robert Barrio back today. And What's up, And Bethany Autumn. Thanks, guys. You want to you hear their intros, too? <laughs> if you follow uh, Creative Loitering, then you, you already know a little bit about us. <laughs> What is it like? Uh, sunsets and tea, or coffee, or something? Yeah, sunsets Sun and sunrises. Sunrises. <laughs> I don't know. Something to do with light T and tea and sunrise. Caffeine. <laughs> Awkward pause. <laughs> no, we're taking a moment. No, oh, okay. no. Sometimes no. you just have to breathe. It's okay. It's not an awkward pause. Don't By the way, it's um, awkward. <laughs> yeah. By the way, I have a little bit of a sniffle, so it's not COVID. So, but um, oh God. it's a little bit of a sniffle. So, if you guys hear me in the background sniffling, that's just forewarning. <laughs> <laughs> that was an awkward pause. Yeah. That, that was, was more yeah, awkward that than that the pause. Definitely made it more awkward. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm just gonna drink my whiskey yeah. so either way mel's breathing heavy and robert has sniffles so we're gonna move forward Am I breathing heavy yeah i could see your chest moving <laughs> wow yeah. well, breathe, everybody breathe. take a moment <laughs> okay so how's your levels can you hear yourself okay actually yes, yes i, I can yeah. nice and clear does anybody yeah. want their headphones louder no 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 anyone this is want, nice and clear anyone want them lower um, check, check, check. No, I think I'm good. Yeah, I think good. I'm good. Yeah. I'm pretty happy with mine. Yeah. Yeah. So let's talk about the Barbie video. Let's do it. So, Mel, you were the creative director. Yes. On the Barbie video that came out last week. Now, what yep. was the inception of the idea for the Barbie video? So the idea was originally was just to do an editorial photo shoot. And I put a call into Robert and Bethany to do behind the scenes footage because that's kind of my little signature I do with my events and anything I like video. Um, and then it kind of turned into a story. Um, we went to see a, a, a potential spot for the shoot and it was too small, but I ran the idea by them. And I remember a couple of days later, they called me. It was like, we need us. We need more. We need a story. Bethany's like, if we're doing this. <laughs> Yeah, we need a right. story. <laughs> so I went back to the drawing board and I kind of came up with a story. And I felt it. like I threw a lot at you because <laughs> originally Mel had this awesome idea for just like, oh, we're just going to do a Barbie shoot. And I really just like want this behind the scenes video, kind of similar to how we did like the behind the scenes for the runway of terror. Yeah. And then I was kind of like, hey, Mel, I'm going to be honest. I got a busy, busy, busy schedule, and if this is not worth my time, yeah. I really don't want to be involved in it at all, mm -hmm. so let's make this a short film. Let's really have a storyline. Let's have some dialogue. Let's yep. have character development, and then he was like, oh, okay, and then he spent some time, and he came back to me, and I was like, all right, now you're thinking. <laughs> let's bounce this off each other <laughs> because it. I'm not going to do this unless it's really yeah, it's something thorough. different that yeah, hasn't solid. been done in this area, so... And then you also had a photo shoot along with it. Yep. So the 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 meat of the video is a photo shoot that's actually really happening. Like it's not staged. It was an actual photo shoot that's actually dropping next week um, from Lamont. So it was really an editorial shoot that I wanted to do with this Barbie idea. And we made a short film out of it, a fashion film. Yeah. It was a lot of work, and Lamont did an amazing job with the photos yeah, that we've already seen yeah. that uh, dropped last week as a teaser to sort of uh, highlight the video getting dropped as well, mm -hmm. and he did a fantastic well, job. Well, he actually, today, Ooh. dropped me the Google link. Oh, So I actually seen the editorials, which I can show Ooh. you guys after. Yes. <laughs> yes. yes. Well, I'm yeah. excited. It's, it's 
phenomenal. Yeah, because we just saw the photos of the Barbies. Like, um, so if you guys have seen and you've watched uh, I Create on Facebook and stuff, you've probably seen the pictures of the Barbies where they're like actually in a Barbie box. But if you watch the video, you'll notice that each Barbie sort of like had their own little set. Yep. And um, they had like editorial shots from each of those sets that we customized for each Barbie. So that's pretty cool. And shout out to Cloud Fool Hall. Yeah, seriously, you guys are amazing. Runway of Terror, Runway of Terror, and now the Barbie shoot. You guys really have come through every time. Funny thing is, I was at Crossgates earlier, and I ran into Corey. Did you really? (laughs) Of course. (laughs) Of course. Were you guys at the Barbie store? <laughs> oh. No, they were at Build a Bear. <laughs> I actually was at Build a Bear. <laughs> yeah, I got hey, man, that's the like, bear. That's a cool spot. I like that. I went there with Peppy. We went there with Peppy. Yeah, we went there yeah, with Peppy. Yeah. Yeah. Was Which fun. was actually, was Peppy really was one of our models. Yes. Uh, yeah. She was the first Barbie that you saw in the clip when it sh- uh, Jordan walked down and was like shocked and stuff. And she's actually in Thailand now. Um, so yeah, yeah congratulations to her. Thing. We yeah. love all our models. They're all going out and doing um, things that are just absolutely amazing yeah, so absolutely. thank you guys for being part of that seriously hey when's the last time you watched the great beef jerky store battle at cross oh that one is oh, a classic if God. you have Wait. never seen the it's called got beef it's got, got beef right <laughs> so good it's like yeah we got beef yeah cross gates is classic i actually classic. never heard of that I've no, heard about it, so but I've never seen the video. The beef jerky brawl. So there's a beef jerky outlet that's inside Crossgates Mall, and they actually moved the store location so it wasn't mm-hmm. so easy to like get in and out because it was like at that corner store where like the UGG store used to be. Do you remember the UGG store? Nope. I believe it was where the UGG store used to be. And just, I don't know, this big fight brought up, like uh, went out in the hallway area, like in the beef. main. And then they <laughs> went into the beef jerky outlet and they were still like punching each other, going crazy, st- knocking yeah, all the beef. Beef. Yeah. beef jerky displays being knocked over, That's wasting crazy. so much a product. And then they came out the other side and then it was like called the beef jerky brawl, but it was like got wow. beef or something. Yeah. Wow. I don't know. I, saw I mean, it, it couldn't turn out to be Yeah, like perfect. I saw like a week you know, or two like, after it, it happened and I was like, don't go to Crossgates <laughs> unless you want to get the Chinese food at the food court. <laughs> then it's worth it. <laughs> I own a direct consumer marketing firm and sometimes we'll do promos there. We did one at Best Buy and somebody came up to us and said, someone's got stabbed right here yesterday where you guys are set up. <laughs> oh my God. Oh Lord. <laughs> Like right here, there was blood. What is going on? Yesterday. It's Albany. No, I mean, like they really have been saying a lot about uh, Crossgates Mile and like how it's been going sort of like it's been declining and different It's crazy things. because the, the actual mall itself been like, it's on a whole nother level from what I remember as a kid. Yes, like, yeah. the, absolutely. Yeah, that used to be like, I mean, now you can go. go there to get vaccinated. So yeah, yeah there you <laughs> so, go. I mean, that's something. They have a whole floor for it. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, okay, bye, Lord and Taylor. Yeah, We're exactly. Gonna We're going to just vaccinate Vaccinate New here. York. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, but yeah, no, I mean, um, I still love cross gates. I, I try to go every once in a while. I'm not a big mall person anymore, but I do like to go occasionally. Yeah. Um, mostly for the Chinese food and the food court. Love you guys. Shout Sample. out. 499. Yeah, Sample. Yeah, I know. It's so great. Yeah. I'm like, oh wow. Yeah. $3 worth of free bourbon chicken. And then I only have to pay $7 for a whole tray. Absolutely. <laughs> like that's on my budget. No, actually today I went there and it was 499 for two meats and two sides. Really? Were they having like a discount? Because I'm no, that's they're having sort of sale. Oh, that's too bad. <laughs> I wasn't sort there. Of sale. <laughs> but um, but yeah. Either way, um, lots of stuff going on in the capital region, guys. Absolutely, <laughs> a lot. <laughs> oh my god. Redirect us, Rick. We need some direction. Direction. <laughs> <laughs> if not, we're just gonna ramble. All right, man. Tell me the story about the giant Barbie doll box being transported. Oh man! Oh, Great, you guys want to know about like beef jerky brawling, but this is just <laughs> Mel Bar- in a Barbie box on the side of the street in the middle of Albany in the dead of winter. Everybody's talking about. It. I want to hear your side of. All right, so I'll let him tell it, and then I'll tell my version. <laughs> and I'll tell my version. <laughs> <laughs> you actually have footage of your version, exactly. <laughs> um, so I spent a lot of time <laughs> putting this Barbie box together. The way the rollout happened like we introduced the barbies in the box and then the video was supposed to come out and then the editorial so at first we were thinking about doing just a graphic a border around a photo taking a picture of the barbie and then putting a graphic around it so it looked like they're in a box and i'm like no i want a box like that's really what i wanted so found a youtube video and spent hours building this box mind you by the way, guys, everyone thinks I'm in the Barbie box 
building business. business. <laughs> people are reaching out because they thought we bought the box. I just got your link today wow. on Google of like all of your Barbie box pictures, like assembly <laughs> yeah. at your apartment. And hey. I'm just like, oh, the good old days before You're it totally was huh? destroyed. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. It's so, a new side hustle. Yeah, exactly. I built this Barbie box, eight foot Barbie box in my living room. Um, was up till four in the morning the day of the shoot because like I was rushing around trying to find wrapping paper because Lamont was like, I can see through the, the wrapping paper you should put another layer. So I'm running around all the Walmarts in the capital region, no, party cities in the capital region trying to find this pink wrapping paper that seemed to be sold out everywhere because it was val around Valentine's Day. So finally found this polka dot one. I'm like, I'm just going to put this polka dot one on. Finished the box four in the morning. Day was going great, you know. Um, it was actually a snow day. We had a storm that Friday. And the vinyl for the front ended up getting postponed to the day of the shoot. So the vinyl wasn't even in either. So it was like, this box is just causing hell. <laughs> and costing the most money out of most, anything else yes. on set. <laughs> anything else on set. So the day of, we call, I think, FedEx, and they're saying there was a mishaps and the box won't be delivered till Monday. I mean, the vinyl for the front of the box. And we're like, what? <laughs> like... This we need the vinyl today. I lied and said I was a part of a wedding and the bride is gonna go crazy yeah. because hoping and she was like, All right, I'm gonna go check in the bot back to see where the workers put it and um I'll let you know and we'll give you a call back. Never heard anything back. Like who's gonna have a Barbie box at their wedding though? Yeah. You I like They didn't know what it was. They just yeah. knew it was like a package. Yeah. So Lamont ended up finding a local printing guy and went and got this thing printed on the spot. For us, luckily. So that kind of was like, Ooh, all right, all we have to do is get the box to the cloud foo hall and we're straight. Um, so me and my good friend put this box up on a uh, truck and tied some salt bags to kind of weigh it down. And <laughs> we're driving over really slow to the cloud foo hall. My house is only but like down to the road from the cloud. And we're going up this hill and I look through the rear mirror and the uh, the box just blew out of the back of the truck <laughs> and just hits the ground. And we didn't even pull. So I didn't even know. Yeah. I didn't even like. You oh, guys got like, video of this? No, well, because, no, because just me he and him was just driving in the car. Okay. Yeah. Like we were at Cloud Food yeah. Hall with the models. But like the best part is that like it was not just snow. It was like muddy, slushy, yeah. disgusting, disgusting snow, snow that had built up in the streets of Albany. Like, you know, that kind of snow in the city. And that's that's what that's yeah. where it went. So like I didn't even pull over. I literally just stopped the car and jumped out in the middle of Pearl Street. And I'm going crazy because I'm like. Uh. Like, I'm pasting so much, I can't even pick the box up. Because I'm like, what do I do? Like, <laughs> I spent so much time on this box. It's going to ruin the whole production. Because now, like, the rollout's going to be messed up. Um, and in the mix of this crazy <laughs> thing happening, Bethany FaceTimes me. Because now I've been going for, like, I live down the street. A, so this was supposed to be, yeah, like, a 10-minute like, trip. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You've been gone for, like, half an I've hour. I've been going for a little while. So yeah. now she, Bethany calls me. And she's like, hey, where are you? And I'm like... That's how you sound. <laughs> Wait, what'd you say? That's how you sound. Hey, how are yeah. you? Yeah, yeah. Hey, how yep. are you? Yep. I'm Barbie. <laughs> so, so now your perspective, like, can we switch over to mine for just yeah, a minute? No, no, that's true. Go ahead. So, so because like I have to pick up from the very beginning. So, yeah. like Mel had been telling me about this box process <laughs> for a while. He had been talking to me, and I was like frustrated because I'm like, I literally have two degrees in art. Robert has a degree in art. We both had to like do a lot of different 3D design classes. Structural. We're crafty. Yeah, like <laughs> you know. we figured, you know, we learned a lot of different things about how to build things. Yeah. And um, I kept trying to tell Mel like, hey, why don't you just let like Robert and I figure out how to make something? And he's like, no, 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 no. I know exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to go Home Depot. I'm going to buy these foam core boards. I'm going to do this thing. I'm going to do that thing. I'm going to buy the extra expensive ones too so it really stays together. So he keeps telling me all these things that he's going to do. And I'm just getting- if I have a pickup truck. I, but I did no have a vision of this. I mean, like, pretty pretty close. I mean, there were multiple times where I was like, I don't know about this box. No, I'm telling like, you, this Did I know it was going to fly so out the back of the truck on Pearl Street? Thorough, no, like, I did not. But was I was so thorough. Mm. So either way, I was, like, already kind of upset about how much time and effort that he was spending in this box. <laughs> and, like, there were he would just send me pictures from his apartment. And it was, like... What was it like almost 2 a.m.? Yeah, it was, it was, it was late. like 2 a.m. or something. Night, and he would like send me yeah. a picture of this freaking box. And I'm like, 
wow, it's really big. Like it's taller than you and you're a tall man. So yeah. I'm like, does it really need to be this big? <laughs> um, and it's just like very pink, which is, yeah, it's Barbie, but I'm just like, this is a really big box. And I'm just like, I, I remember asking him, when I was like, how are you going to get it to Cloud Food Hall? And he was like, oh, I'm going to borrow my brother's truck or something like that. And I'm like, should we rent a U-Haul? And he's like, no, 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 it'll be fine. We'll just throw it in the back of the truck. <laughs> so either way, time goes by. So now it's the day of, I... I'm sitting amongst all of these models and I'm like panicking a little and I'm like, where, where, where's Mel? Where's Mel? So I FaceTime him and I'm like, I'm like this with my phone. I FaceTime and I'm like, ready? I'm like so excited to talk to him. And he answers. And then Robert's like, during, so during Robert's this time, I was doing BTS. This. Yes. So then, the he models turns putting the, on their makeup. so then he turns the camera to me because he can see that like, oh, she's, she's on the phone with Mel. Yeah. And, and Mel is just like <laughs> going crazy. Angry. He's angry and going crazy. And I'm like, <laughs> Mel, wh what's wrong? And then I like sort of, I turn the volume down and I like, go like this and I like get, I'm like, Either way, I tried to like not let the models going on, and I'm like, okay, he's he's angry, and I'm like, I just remember he's turning. Stressed. I look, I turn, and I look at the camera, and I was just kind of like, everything's okay. <laughs> yeah, Robert's like, everything's good. And she's like, yes, yeah, it's good. Cut to that. <laughs> yep, <laughs> I have that on video for sure. <laughs> yeah, you gotta send that. Yeah, I will. So sure. then, uh, so then, of course. So I, we I, get the box back in the truck. Yes. And you guys are right down the street at We're this right point. right down the street. But like <clears throat> it was either go up the hill, down Pearl Street, and back down the hill. Or I could just reverse down the one way and be at the cloud. So okay. I'm like, I said to my boy, I was like, all right, you drive my car to the cloud. I'll take it in the truck. I'll get in the truck. So everything's going swell. Going down the street, one back reverse in this pickup truck. The big Barbie box slanted in the back. <laughs> and... As soon as I turn the corner, wind hits the truck, Barbie box fall out, and then just bursts into pieces. Yeah, which I witnessed that one. Bursts into pieces. And I literally just got out the truck. I walked into my car, sat in my car, and I just yelled. <laughs> I just yelled because I was like, wow. Oh, wait, all these so did it hours. fall three times? No, it fell those two times. Okay, because you guys like, came out. You guys yeah, no, came out. No, because I remember I was standing in, in front of food. Call, uh, flu. I can't even talk food. right now. Uh, <laughs> yeah, food I was. Sta no, like because it was just way too much that was happening. Because I remember you pulling the truck up, and like once you got right up to the entrance, I just saw like the wind just take yep. it and drop it. Dropped like it, yeah. it was. It was like boom destroyed, yep. and then it was all over and just completely soaking wet and yeah, like so muddy snow. Just left the truck there in the middle of the road and walked away to my car down the street. <laughs> Sat in it for a little bit. And then you came outside. No, no I was already outside. outside. You were already no, outside. Then you guys you, like, that's right. Then you peeked outside and you're like, ooh, some well, cool I was, content. Well, I was, well, that's the thing. Like when I saw you walk outside, I'm sitting here with the beat. I'm sitting here with the models, like getting BTS with them putting on their makeup. Yeah. And I was like, you know what? I got enough footage of them putting their makeup on. I'm gonna go outside and see what's going on. Like this turned into like a reality show. <laughs> and then <laughs> this and, is good content and right at that here. Point, Robert, Robert wasn't outside yet, but I had already walked down into the street and I was helping you and your brother sort of pick this up and trying to figure out. Oh my God, what are we gonna do? Because now it's like literally in four. No, different I missed that pieces. part. What? Oh, yeah, I you're didn't right. didn't help because I'm sitting in the car. You're right. You're right. Because <laughs> I eventually just walked in just to see, like, what was going on. It's so on. hard. Everything happened in. so fast yeah. that it's kind of hard to process. And it was amazing to see, though, because, like, I walked in upstairs and, like, the whole team, like, the BTS team is, like, up there trying to court it, put this box back together. Yeah. Even though in the moment also, I'm freaking I out. I did give them slightly a little bit of a pep talk. <laughs> I was like, guys, Mel is losing it. If we don't fix this box right now, he's going to walk off set. And this is... Honestly, though, I have to give you credit for, for talking to Mel and kind of calming him down. Because if you didn't do that, I don't know if the production... I don't know if the whole thing would have just kept on going. Okay, okay. so on. who do we know that can animate this whole story? <laughs> I'm not an animator, but we uh, do well, know somebody. I, yeah, no, I, <laughs> I mean, do. We have video of the whole thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we do have video. It's funny too. Jordan, Jordan McClendon, he's an amazing animator who does all of the Albany shorts. We can animate this, actually. If you can animate this whole scene for us, you will forever be. <laughs> yeah, dude, we got to have you in the car taking a moment. I was, yeah. you, you also need to get Bethany saying, Robert, put the camera away. Not right now. 
not the time. Turn the fucking camera off. I was so angry. No, because like I'm, wa- I'm literally carrying a piece of the Barbie box, walking up the sidewalks in the slushy snow, and, and Robert's, Robert's just filming door, me. Like, I'm carrying that I'm thing, like, and I'm just like, this is great. This is awesome. <laughs> I was like, no, turn it off. Turn it I'm off. Just like, oh, oh, okay, okay. Yeah. And then you can see that he like turns the camera sideways and holds it by yeah. his side and it keeps it rolling. I did not turn it off. I kept it rolling so I can get the audio. No, it was oh. awful. And like then I oh, really God. thought Mel was done. I really. I really thought he was going to leave. I was like, this production is shot. I am, I am so over this. This yeah, it was crazy. I'm but so like, again, sick. that, that moment, it was like, I was saying the other day, like it was like, it turned negative somewhat into a positive scene. Mm. Like everyone just come together. And if yeah. you see the shots, like, yeah, you know, a little Photoshop, of course, you know, yeah. they make the box where it look really clean, but yeah, that box got put together. I, I went upstairs and I just got some footage of everybody just teaming up together and just putting the box Mm-hmm. together and just trying to fix everything yeah. and just like just kind of salvage what we yeah. can plus on top of that we still had to actually cut out the print the barbie print yeah yeah um and no one brought the proper tools so mm-hmm. at first i was using a really <laughs> dull steak knife that cloud food hall had given me to cut this vinyl <laughs> the vinyl and i was like this is not going to work so then i and mel ended up pulling out like a pocket knife that had like a razor on it so then i used that and then somebody i think it was lamont had like a little razor thing mm-hmm. or whatever yeah. so then i'm like sawing one side with this horrible razor that we're given <laughs> and then he's cutting the other side with another <laughs> razor that he found in his like box of goodies and it was just like why is this happening? And we were using. Why is no one prepared for this? And we also had to cut through the foam, so it wasn't like we were just cutting through the vinyl. We had to cut through a, a like it was a quarter, like a half inch, quarter inch, whatever, of foam board yeah. that we had to cut through. So on top of that, now we have you know like when you cut through styrofoam, it just like static electricity is everywhere, and yeah. it's just like all over the place. Now we had this all over the place, and we're like, this is our set. So now we needed to find a broom yeah, to sweep crazy. all of it up Barbie and then mop chaos. it. It was chaos. <laughs> and I'm just like, I was so upset because crazier, like, I tried. Once, once the box is together, <laughs> once the box is together, Lamont was like, let me try to get in the box. No, no. And then I said, don't do it. I said, don't get in the box. And he's like, he's the shortest person on set, by the way. He's shorter than me. And he was like, don't. Don't do it. And then he did, and he walked over it. He walks it. over it, and the, the bee of Barbie, the, the last Barbie bee, snapped off. snaps over. So I seen it, and I just literally quietly walked downstairs. And the next thing you know, I seen later that night, my sister had texted me because she, Jordan. She was is, watching all of She's watching it because that's Jordan's mom. Yeah. And she goes, relax. It can be fixed. <laughs> Luckily, she it knew, was she knows. It was the photographer who messed it up, and he's the one who had to do the photoshopping on it, so it yeah. worked out. So it worked and out. He I was like, it. "Hey, he, he, he really killed, killed it." it. Fair enough. <laughs> yeah, I was like, "Hey, you ruined it, and you're the one who's gonna have to fix it later in post." <laughs> that is not our problem. <laughs> oh my god, it didn't look bad though. Once we, you know, no, yeah, yeah no, I think it turned but, out great. Um, oh my gosh, but either teamwork. way, it's just very teamwork makes the dream work. Yeah, yeah, yeah like L- Lamont and I spent a lot of time cutting out that Barbie thing and retaping stuff, and then of course he had, thank God, he had that purple backdrop paper. Oh yeah, that we put yeah because the um the, the polka, polka dot, dot paper done. that you searched every yeah. f- mm-hmm. everywhere for on Valentine's Day. I think the purple paper actually worked out better. Yeah, purple it looked paper good. looked beautiful. It looked good. I think it was it made nice. The, made the model stand out more. Yeah, because yeah, it, it wasn't it too really much did. going on yeah. and stuff. So exactly. it ended up being a positive. So it was mm-hmm. like. Yeah. <sighs> So that, that, that's, that's that the, the Barbie box, box story, Barbie just in box case story. anyone was wondering <laughs> what it took to get these photos to come to life. <laughs> I'm still traumatized and slightly angry about the situation. <laughs> Damn. I think I was telling you before we started recording, I saw the photos mm-hmm. on social media before I knew about the video. Yeah. I thought it was a photo shoot. Mm-hmm. I'm like, wow, that's awesome. I click like and I'm like, okay. And then you send me the link to the video yeah. and- like oh, this is the from the photo. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, and then and then it all came together. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Yep. For, I really like. I felt like we we put a really dope visual out, music video out last year called "Light and Me," starring B Lyric. She's a young, at the time, eleven year old, eleven oh my year gosh, old yeah, rapper. Ten or eleven? Now I think she's eleven. Eleven. She's eleven. She's eleven. Um, <laughs> and we put the video out on social media, but we kind of like it was our first big visual like that, so we didn't know really how to market it. You know, 
Yeah. Um, and this time, we, you know, we put we I strategically kind of laid out the rollout of this thing, like putting behind the scenes, like different videos I'll put out on certain days just because didn't want to give them too much, but, you know, still gave them a taste of what was coming. So like the Barbie box was a big piece of it because that was supposed to introduce the Barbies the day of the video coming out. Yeah. Without them being in their sets. Yeah. yeah. Without them actually being on set, yeah. you know? No, I think it did a great job trying to, you know, keep people excited. Yeah. And the anticipation and everything. Which don't yeah. worry, we'll get people excited with B Lyrics next music video. Yeah. Oh, I can't Possibly wait. Possibly dropping later this year, guys. <laughs> yeah, I can't wait. Yeah. <laughs> but um but yeah and then and then Jordan. I mean Yeah. Oh my god. The, the the shoot with Jordan, like she was amazing. She was great. Yeah. Um you know that was her first 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 acting. Yep. Very role. first acting game. but with you dialogue. Know, with dialogue, yes. Yeah. But um, you know, it it what you saw in the video, it's um, it's a lot of work. Mm -hmm. it, behind the scenes of that was a lot of work, yeah. and I think Bethany, the director of this video, mm -hmm. um, she did a did very amazing, amazing thing. job, and that's really what drove me to even work with Bethany in the first place with um, B Larry's video because I knew she's she would be great. Her personality would be great with children. You know what I'm saying? Which is surprising. <laughs> You would be so very surprised if you know <laughs> Bethany, but no. But I, like, I, I have to say, like, I do flip a switch, yeah. And I love, love working with kids, and I yeah. just become a completely different person mm -hmm. when I'm. And she's still, like a still kid. director, but it's like she still has that like but director I'm tone, but she's still yeah. like, got to get this done, but. Okay, girl. You just so let's do, let's do another take. Oh, there were so <laughs> many times where I was just like, guys, I just want to go outside and scream, <laughs> but. It was All worth right, it. let's try it again. Let's try it again, girl. We got this. Yeah, yeah keep yeah. smiling, smiling. Oh, yeah. I, I like when Bethany directs people how to pose at events, like, tells them where to stand. And <laughs> yeah, no, I did that at favorite. the event yeah. with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm yeah, really good. good at like when it's like big group family photos, something like that. Mm -hmm. I'm good at like trying to get people in order because I'm like, I, if I can't see you, you can't see the cameraman. She's very authoritative. <laughs> There. Yeah. yeah, there was probably about forty people on that one shot. Yeah, you were helping. It was, put oh, yeah. yeah, it was a lot. No, of people. And it's just like if you're five foot two, don't stand next to someone in the back row that's almost seven feet. Like, <laughs> just don't do it. Get in the front. Yeah. I know you don't want to be in the front because you're wearing uh, New Balance. That's fine. <laughs> but come on. <laughs> <laughs> that was difficulty ten. Language barrier. Bunch of windows all oh, behind. Oh yeah, and it was that just we had blowing to out everything. For the windows. Yeah. Mm. No, I nailed it. I exposed for the windows. Yeah, nice but you did. Shot. No, it was a yeah. great shot. But yeah. you also had like massive lights set up on like ten foot stands, mm. and it, and it was awesome. But it was a lot to get people to get in the right place. Right. So. I was busy just thinking about all that, and yeah. I had to go OCF at the center. Yeah. Yeah. And bounce. So he was like all so, worried about the lights and that. stuff. And I was like, all right, he's stressed out about lights. So I'm going to worry about like, all right, ma'am, come around front. You're going to sit here. We're going to bring this whole couch from over here and here. And you're going to sit here and here and here. And it worked out great. Yeah. And you got a great shot. Yeah. So bunch of ESL and we had a wheelchair. Oh, yes. That's yeah. very. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. So there's a lot to think about whenever you have the wheelchair. <laughs> yeah. But that either. Was the first event that we worked with you, right? Yeah. It also. Ever. Uh, I did. First I shot weddings with you back in. Yeah, yeah, you guys had shot weddings. Yeah, but you guys were But with yeah. Bethany, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, with, with me Bethany. involved, yeah. The first like commercial event, yeah, we did some like model shoots and stuff. Yeah, we had done yeah. like model shoots and stuff like that. Yeah, that was the first opportunity. The you first had time, to, yeah, the first like, time I ever met you with the bath was the weird bathtub thing in the field. Oh, that was a fun shoot. Yeah, that was a that was a yeah. great shoot. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, maybe we should put some images of that. No, we're not going to do that in this podcast. <laughs> that already made it in other podcasts that it should have never been in. So if you watch through all the podcasts, you'll, you'll oh, that's true. You'll yeah, see it's me. Been, it's been on there. It's like, know, why wow. am I in this podcast? Yeah. It's funny. Do you know what she's talking about? I I I might have seen a photo. It's like me in a bathtub in the middle of a field. I probably seen it. Yeah, you've probably yeah. seen it. Don't worry, you'll see it at some point. <laughs> But either way, back field. to how yeah. good of a director I am. <laughs> that was the first time I, I saw how good you are at corralling lots of people in a hectic environment, yeah. which that's a skill. You know, some yeah. people just can't do that. Yeah. And without alienating them. Yeah. Right. You know, and that's where you've got that balance just well, right. Well, because I think you have to have like the right amount of like assertiveness, but also be like kind of like Remember sweet. that you're, you're people, they're people, you know what I'm saying? And yeah. She, she has that. 
and, and and you kind of like wear one of those shit eating grins. Sorry, you can totally bleep that out if you need to, but that's Why? like the phrase. <laughs> but like a shit eating grin, where you're just kind of like, all right, come on, like we got to do this. Like you're you're kind of upset that you're doing it, but you just have to do it you because you know it. that you have to get that shot. And right, yeah. if you don't get it right now, you've just wasted mm -hmm. your entire time. Yeah. So, and I feel like that's I feel like doing weddings and doing events like that has definitely helped with like when it comes to these creative things. It's like, oh well, I already direct a bunch of, you know, an entire drunk bridal party to try to get a group photo. What's the difference of trying to get a kid who doesn't know how to really act very much with any type of um of dialogue. Yeah. How is it, how is it any different? Mm -hmm. It's not, it's yeah. just a task that you need to figure out how to overcome. And yes, it was very challenging. And you originally thought we were only going to be there for what, like a few hours. And then we ended up being there yeah. for like I mean, eight hours. I was like, how long do you think it'll take? And you were like, we probably should be there three, four hours. And we ended eight. up being we there ended eight up being hours, for yeah. a lot more. But longer. even like I think cloud fool all the day, cause this was a three day shoot. Mm -hmm. the, the main meet yeah. was the cloud fool hall day. Cause that's when the models were all going to be there. Um, so a lot of people don't understand, like, even though in the visual it is a photo shoot happening, there was really a photo shoot happening. So a mix of us trying to film, I'm also trying to make sure direct the photo shoot, you know? Yeah. So there is a lot going on, like, even with the Barbie yeah. box situation happening, you yeah. know, that prolonged everything because Lamont was going to be downstairs photo shooting, you yeah. know, shooting the models. So it was like, it was, a, it was a really busy day with everything that we were trying to accomplish in there was a Eight lot hours. of, yeah, no, there was definitely a lot of moving parts happening at the same time, yeah. you know, um, because we, you know, like, like you said, Lamont was shooting and then at the same time, well, he has the model, you know, posing and stuff like that. Like I have to be also be there yeah. and getting <laughs> BTS photos of that or video. Yeah. Of that. yeah. And then of course, while that's happening now on the side, I had to try to figure out dialogue for the girl, uh, for Jordan to run up to each Barbie, Barbie and like have sort of like a little bit of dialogue, like, Oh, hi, Gabby, you look so pretty mm -hmm. or like different things like that because we needed to show her interacting. And in order to make it natural, we needed some kind of dialogue because if it was just like her running up to them, it felt, like it just wasn't working. Right. So I'm like, okay, we need to come up to dialogue. Even if we don't end up using it, that's totally fine. But we need something to give that natural interaction. So then I was working with her on the side while you guys were help like directing all yeah. of the things it that was, Lamont. It was, it was just, it was very, very chaotic. And like, on top of that. Even with Robert filming the models, there was two pieces I wanted. I wanted B-roll of them actually doing something with the camera, <clears> you know, and then the BTS. So like, it was, we could be shooting with Jordan, but Lamont might be shooting where, with Gabby, that he didn't get BTS at. So he yeah. has to run down. So I have to like get some footage run of him down, run and up, come back yeah. and finish up with Jordan, yeah. you know? And yeah. on top of that, <laughs> Cloud Food Hall was also operating, operating for, business for business during the day. So we like just had random customers coming in and out, like buying food, and they're like, <laughs> what's, what's going on? There's a large Barbie box in here. What is <laughs> happening? And I'm like, I, these people just came in here to get a sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, they'll keep you busy. You have like second unit running. Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah, mm. definitely. But yeah. again, like I can't wait for you guys to see these editorial shots. Yeah, uh, yeah, I can't wait either. It's crazy. Uh, yeah, I just sent them my <laughs> email. So. But you know what? Out of all the things that happened during the day, I really have to say that I think my least favorite part of the day, which I know you guys will agree with me, BMW. BMW. Yeah, BMW. Yeah. Yeah. The BMW. Uh, no, shout out. Uh, what's her name again? Well, it's Marshall. Okay. Well, thank, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for, um, you know, bringing your BMW and it, it fits so perfect. It was awesome, but yeah. it was a freezing cold night yeah. Yeah. and we had to wait until it was dark out to mm -hmm. film because we needed to show that it was like the yeah. end of the dream. It yeah. was dark and she was going back to bed again. Yeah. And so it's dark and cold slushy. We have the all of these models out. are like Freezing. in with like, in Very outfits, little clothing. We even to the point that we actually had like I told the models I was like I don't want you guys to freeze, so I'm gonna actually have you guys like put sweatpants on and comfortable yeah. shoes, and then you're gonna get in the car because and yeah, well, we even uh, skipped the part of them yeah, getting into our just showing because we just wait, we can't closing. do that because it's too muddy, it's too it's too, it's too cold, it's just not yeah. gonna work. Um, so and Alana was the only Barbie that actually had like boots mm -hmm. on which is why we had her leg yeah. getting, into, getting the into the car to yeah. shot yep. because it was just like i was like no we can't have any of the other girls they're all wearing like stilettos or open to shoes or something that's going to be way too cold and mm -hmm. it was freezing i just remember like 
being out there and like I, I if you know me my hands are always cold I have bad circulation I guess but I was turning purple and I was like Mel Robert we need to get inside right now I am done filming this stuff See, I don't, I don't and care I'm the about hard headed one I'm and the like, hard headed one like, I'm like you guys go inside mm-hmm. I'm gonna stay outside yeah, <laughs> and, yeah but Robert the, had to stay outside because he's holding the camera <laughs> and I think did, would, did we find you a pair of gloves were no. you you weren't none of us no. were wearing gloves It was yeah f- but that's the moment that I was like how about we have Jordan waving from inside, so yeah. you guys go yes. upstairs and shoot down. And I'm, I remember the BTS footage. You got, I'm standing in the middle of the road with this iPad trying to like tell people, tell the BMW when to stop. Yeah, yeah, and because they're like, get off the road. Yeah, because <laughs> so the thing is, is the, the BMW the had shot. all four Barbies in, <laughs> and, and she in needed circles. to keep driving around the block and coming back down the street. And we also had to make it like time it just enough. That she could slow down and there weren't any cars behind her, yeah, so yeah. we had the traffic to keep. Was still yeah, going because on, the traffic yeah. was bad, so we had to keep redoing the shot because we're like, that car wants to get by, and we're like stopped in the middle of the street, wondering what's going on. So it was like we had to keep redoing it. And I'm like, I am going to freeze to death <laughs> right now. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was wild. So it was, <laughs> it was a wild. that was very stressful, and I was like, I'm over this at this point. But then, but she then we kept that. doing it. I did. She's like, it's not worth it. It's not. Let's just go inside. But it's then cold. we did it, and I'm happy we did uh, it. Yeah, it was, yeah, it, it worked out. It but worked it's out. no different than like Mel wanted to be over when the Barbie box fell out, and I was like, <laughs> we're doing this, and then we did it. So it's just like sometimes you have to just keep encouraging gotta, each other. Team yeah. effort. That's it's why team you need effort. three people. Yeah. Really, like three people down, because one, one, one then you have the other two to bring you up and stuff because. And it just worked Absolutely. out. And then two, if two are fighting, one's got to be neutral. Right. <laughs> yeah, I'm just like, I'm Switzerland. <laughs> oh, man. That's, that's <laughs> rough. Yeah, that's right. That's the same weekend. I think I was up north in zero degree weather. Yeah, no, it was video. freezing, right, yeah. freezing cold. Like, I was like, oh, my God, why did we decide to do this now? And so there's a the shot I got to get. <laughs> through the window so outside through the window like this voyeuristic shot of this guy in the kitchen mm-hmm. oh yeah this is from his thing yeah, yeah yeah so i gotta go through there's a foot of snow they got a foot of snow the morning before we got there so we drove in there during a the blizzard which worked for the shots kind of mm-hmm. so it's just blasting and there's all these saplings and like little trees blocking the window where i had to put the tripod and i finally got it and we got back inside, and everything fogged up. Right, right, right. And those cameras are rated for about 30 degrees. Yeah. And it was zero. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So we're done for at least 20 minutes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, and yeah. I guess you're not you supposed to. Yeah. Yeah, and you're supposed to leave it off, and mm. I guess you're supposed to leave the lens on also when that's going on. Something about the condensation that yeah. dissipates. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So you're just yeah. dead in the water. Yep. Yeah, yeah, I mean, like, it's no different than, like, when I've shot, like, an extreme heat where it's just, like, I've been at weddings or different events where it's, like, my, it just got so yes. hot yep. that I'm, like, why is everything foggy? And then I look at my camera and I look at, like, I'll take it off and I'm, like, oh, yep. my lens and my, my sensor, everything is fogged. Yep. There's dew and you on can't, everything. Like, you and you can't touch it. You, can't you touch just it. have to wait for you it to dry. You have to wait for it to dry. Now, if it's warm and you're going into the cold, you can just put the hand warmers and rubber bands around the camera lens, mm-hmm. and, and that'll stop it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but if you're going cold to warm, no, nope. yeah, what are you gonna do? Like tape a bunch of ice packs around it or something? Yeah, <laughs> let it melt and let it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's like when you get in your car and there's condensation, and then you like wipe your hand across it, and then you see that hand mark for Finger, like the the, the eternity, print. and you're like, I need to get it's my like, car oh, detailed because right. I've seen my hand print for a year and a half now <laughs> from that one decision of doing that, and it was a total mistake. Just wait. Just wait. <laughs> yes, we had another of the same camera, so we just did it with one shot, you know, no side angle. Yeah. But the way it went down, with the way the actors and actresses were coming back and forth, we couldn't do everything outside and then everything inside. Right. We had to kind of go back and forth. But yeah, it was a cold weekend. <laughs> you guys did it. We had some young people on our set, too. Yeah. Some kids. And, yeah. Uh, yeah. At one point, they didn't like the John Milius line. I said, pain's temporary, film's forever. And they looked at me. They're like, what are you talking about? Yeah, they're like, I, I they're understand like, that one though. They're like, okay, boomer. <laughs> uh, but then I told them, I'm like, I know you're cold and you're tired and you're hungry, but six months from now, when you're watching yourself in this video, you're not going to think about any of that. No. You're just going to think about how cool it was. Yeah. Oh yeah. That you guys toughed it out and yeah. you got it done. So yeah. They're like, 
Okay. Yeah. yeah. So that yeah. rang true a little bit to him, but. No, but really like I, I feel like this is just something that that just kind of normally happens in productions and is everything. Like I was actually just recently on um uh, a sh a show set and I can't go into any specific details, but either way, they did put us in a holding area that was freezing cold mm -hmm. and i mean we were there for 13 hours and mm -hmm. it was freezing cold and i know you had the yeah. opposite, opposite experience on hot. another show where it was just so hot and you were mm -hmm. also like in period pieces where it's like lots and lots, lots and clothes. lots of layers the was the worst and you were just dying yeah. you're just dying yeah. on set but the yeah. thing is is like you just have to deal with it like i mean i had to take those little the ones that you shake up the hand warmers yep, yep. and i was mm. shoving them in my shoes and holding them in my pockets because i'm like i am dying and i'm literally just a background actor who's getting like <laughs> Paid fifteen dollars an hour to just <laughs> sit here and die in the cold. <laughs> but then again, I might have like one second of fame when I'm next to like the lead, so it's great. <laughs> so it's fine, like it's fine. But it's just like yeah. you you realize that like when it comes to production, when it comes to film, when it comes to anything, you where you really know. you never know what it's going to be, and you, you just know. know that you just have to push through everything because yeah. when it's all said and done, you have to be able to pivot. It's going to be a really yep. great story to tell too. I mean, we mm. wouldn't be sitting here telling this podcast right. if it wasn't. Yeah, exactly. And I think that 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 goes with all production though, because not, not a lot of people could they they only. See See the final product. You know? I mean, everybody I even, sees the behind mm -hmm. the scenes. That's why I love talking about it. Yeah, and we have BTS footage yeah. to prove it. Yeah, yeah. that <laughs> a lot went into it. Yeah, yep. you know, so it's. But it's also no different than wedding days. Like there have been like yep. really cold wedding days where like I've worked with somebody and I'm like, all right. It's cold. I know you don't want to be out here in your wedding dress, <laughs> but we're going to do this. And then they get a great shot that right. they're like, yep. wow, I'm um, so happy we did that. Yeah. But it's no different, different than like a production. Yeah. Like it just. That's the way it is. Yeah. You got to suffer knew, through it. Who knew a 12 inch snowstorm was going to come the day before? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <right. Our photo laughs> shoot. Albany really doesn't do the best job at plowing either. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, oh, especially downtown. No, they don't care. Yeah, so. yeah. You just buckle down, you get it done. Yeah. Yeah. Every time. There's only one time where it didn't get done. I was on a movie set in 05. Everything's set up, dozens of actors, all the extras, all the foods laid out, everything. Mm -hmm. Back then, it was a big film camera, big, beautiful, fancy, expensive film camera. Mm. Sets it up, lines up the shot. Something was wrong with the tripod. It was the one with those legs sliding in a lock. They didn't oh. lock it. Oh, I think yeah, yeah, the yeah. whole camera just yeah. and shatters oh, on the floor. Heart. That's oh. really sad. That, yeah, that's sad. Yep, $20,000. No. And would that see. was the end of the shoot because mm -hmm. that was the only camera. Ugh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would see videos so like that that's on like, Instagram and stuff, like wow. behind the scenes of like cameras just no, failing yeah, and falling. I'm the like, worst oh, one is the, uh, the I can't I can't watch it. The I one we watch together with the truck with the truck with the camera it, rig on the side, yep, and it just falls, it just falls off falls right in front of the, the ground. I was like, oh my god, breaks my into heart. like ten thousand pieces, and I'm, I'm like, like oh. that's like thirty grand right there. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you have insurance. Yes. Oh, like there's that shot of Michael Bay making Transformers. You smash that million dollar Panavision. Oh my yeah. God. They had the boom off of a pickup truck and just smashed it, doing like 65. Oh, wow. I mean, yeah. you know, if they could afford it, have insurance. Well, you know, that's why you have like, you know, a couple million dollar liability insurance <laughs> yeah. and different things on those type of stuff. So, yeah. That's wild. This is, this is why we those? have insurance too. Yeah. Because if anything happened to our gear on that day, we need to be covered because stuff happens on sets. It sure. really just does. So you need to make sure you're protective if you're like doing any type of sets like that. You just, you never know what's going to happen, especially yeah. with weather, stuff like that. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. And we're, we're like a, a small, we're like a small production. Well, yeah, technically you know. Mel's the production company. We're just the film company. Right. But yeah. like, yeah, with, with, with our gear and everything, like we just have a small setup. It's not too fancy. It's enough, but it's still... Worth insuring. It's still worth insuring. <laughs> but you still got to get that million dollar liability coverage because if my camera falls on someone's head and kills them, sorry to bring it up, but you need to be covered. Yep. Or someone's you, No, Rolls seriously, Royce. because people yeah. get injured or you drop it on a car. Yeah, like if true. we scratch the BMW, you have to be covered for that. That's a lot. Yeah, That's yeah. stuff you can't pay for out of pocket. Yeah, absolutely. No. Sorry about like, yeah, I, I don't want to think about people dying with a camera falling on their head. That's a lot. <laughs> it's Cut this part fun. out. <laughs> Drink another cup of wine. A little, little sip. <laughs> <laughs> sip your wine. That's sad. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, where's my water? I didn't get the water. 
No, you grabbed everybody <laughs> else's <laughs> water, but <laughs> no, I probably just put it. Yeah, Would you like a water. sip of water? Not from you. I was like, if you finish that, comment earlier. <laughs> Wait, the whole. <laughs> <laughs> pre-recording comments stop <laughs> that's why we got to do those outdoor barbecue podcasts again oh, those oh are my yeah. god those yeah. are the best. did you hear about that one from last summer is that we never were, we never put that out though right yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's yeah. when i went yeah, yeah all yeah. my tiktok followers were asking about the podcast so it never got put out right I don't, I don't think, think we did. They really were so sound. upset. They're like, "Where's this podcast? Where's this podcast?" There was a lot of interest. Yeah, we could, yeah we could. no, we had a lot of interest on my TikTok. Yeah, well, let's let's put it out then. Sure, let's go for it. Yeah. I mean, they'll be disappointed that I wasn't like more of what I was doing, but hmm. yeah, there was a lot. You're not living up to your uh, your burp, no, your burping. Uh, no, the burp that was one. I was trying to record a promo for this other podcast I did. So like they were oh there. the Dino podcast I remember that oh yeah 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 because there's this problem with intros around here yeah well it's so. his problem it's his problem not yeah. ours <laughs> he the, thinks it's a yeah. problem no but like I think it's perfectly <laughs> yeah, fine and too. then he'll be like no, we gotta do, we it, gotta do it, it again ten more times <laughs> <laughs> I was spiking the camera and just cutting to it yeah yeah so. Whatever they're talking about, that reminds me. Of this time I did a podcast with Dino Petroselli over yeah. the studio. Yeah, and I would just go into the yeah. So monologue. he would like say something that reminded him of something to try to use it as a way to lead into another podcast. Gotcha. It, it wasn't a lot and of then like, it was, experimentation. And then it was, and it was, and and it was like, yeah, we were just experimenting. Concepts. Yeah. So we just like took all the microphones. We sat outside. Luckily, the dogs next door didn't bark too much. But we just like set up all the cameras like how we had like four cameras like set up three or four, like yeah. it was literally just us sitting on a porch yeah. eating food and just hanging out and we just sushi, podcasted it and it was ridiculous oh yeah i had sushi because we had sushi. that overhead shot with my iphone yeah yeah that was that was slick you got that and that was right when you guys because i like stuck it in the umbrella yeah 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 she was getting creative with the uh iPhone show. Yeah. I think and I even shot that You just got the Fuji and you were running that and like some kind of S log. You had some log on yep. the Fuji. Oh yeah. Yep. Yeah. And then I just like let one out. About 32 <laughs> I've been times. tempted to do it this whole time, but I don't want to like. No, that was the other theme of that podcast. She was constantly interrupting us with big burps. <laughs> with really loud yeah. burps. And then we made a yeah. burp compilation out of it. And I got like 10,000 views in like an hour on TikTok. That's crazy. And people wanted to see the podcast, and then we never put it up. <laughs> <laughs> because it, we just didn't edit that one because it would take so long to. It was a lot because we just went for. You a can't while. just put it out because it wouldn't make sense to anyone. I'm gonna go mm -hmm. and like, blow my nose because my my I'm I'm. Can I go to the bathroom and just yeah. blow my nose real quick? Yeah. No, <laughs> just use the curtains. <laughs> <laughs> we'll wait here. We'll be right here, bro. No, that's not the oh. <laughs> Just imagine he just walks into the wall. Boom. Smack. Boom. Have you ever seen that video of that girl? It, I think it's like a shoe store or something, and it's like the glass wall, and she like walks into the glass wall <laughs> thinking it's the exit, smacks her head really hard and grabs her face, and then she goes to the next one, smacks it, oh, no. and then she goes <laughs> to the next one and smacks it, and then like at that point, she's like about to cry, and these other two girls are like looking like, oh my God, and then she walks out the final one, and it was like the door, and I was like, man. Like, that's funny. That's why you put your hands first when you right. don't know. <laughs> like, if you don't know, put your hands out first and then, like, oh, that's a glass wall. Whoever um, the cleaners are better be getting raised for that yeah, one. Yeah, <laughs> no, seriously, you guys did a good job, but now you got to clean all this girl's smushed face <laughs> off of all of these windows. <clears throat> but, oh, my gosh. Yeah. What a what a interesting time we have. Mm -hmm. um, we definitely have a very interesting life that we live. We all we all do a lot of different creative projects and do different stuff that it's like, huh? Yeah. I'm really happy to 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 have the life that I have. It's very very like, interesting and it never I feel stops. Like every project I learn something new from a bad experience. You know, mm -hmm. or oh, not necessarily a bad experience, but just any experience. Any experience. You know, like we brought up last week the lyric music video i had to really open my mind to other ideas yeah you know what i'm saying to where it came out picture perfect you know yeah um barry box i had to re realize that <laughs> <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> <laughs> oh 
Oh, we did get that. <laughs> we got that. We no, don't. Yeah, close the curtain all the way. All that right. was so good. I'm back, guys. Sorry. It's all right. Pay I had no to, attention I had to, also, to the I had man to, behind the curtain. Yep. <laughs> he was Kool Aid man yeah. through the I curtain. I had to. Uh, I went to. I also went to. Did a bathroom break and I powdered my nose too. So, just wanted to make sure I was camera ready. So you shiny. <laughs> <laughs> no shine. No shine. Shine bright. I think, shine I far. think people will think something's wrong with me You're if I powdered my nose. <laughs> uh, that's the next one. Light bright. No. We do a light bright video. A light. A light. Yeah. Uh, light bright. A li- what, wait, light wait, wait, wait. bright. Yeah, you remember Light Bright? It's an '80s toy. Nobody Light Bright. Wait, light the bright. things where you put the yeah. you stick the pieces in. Yeah. And you, oh, oh, yeah. oh yeah, yeah, yeah. my god! Yeah. Yes, I, I that. love those mm-hmm. things. That was the shit in like 1983. I to- first <laughs> I, I completely blanked out because at first I didn't process what you were talking about. <laughs> I thought we were like still talking about the Shine Bright, Shine Far Barbie <laughs> thing, and then he's like Light Bright, and I was like, that's not how the saying goes. <laughs> and then I was like very Excuse confused. Me. <laughs> <laughs> but yes no because those were the ones that you could like put those little clear or colored like almost they looked like little tiny crayons in a way and then you'd stick them in it right right and then they were clear and then you could like create these beautiful things and you could like poke holes yeah, in different I, things yeah. those were amazing those i had awesome. one when i was a kid those were the coolest things ever that and um furbies Furbies. What's a Furby? The little furry thing that like, like they, the fur- they like they got the, they like the Furby and, and they have the beak. They yeah, have the, like they're they're fuzzy yeah, and they got the yeah. beak and they got like a fro. It's almost mm-hmm. like a, a troll doll and an owl had a baby. Yeah. Right. I I yeah. Think yeah. Toys. Right. Yeah. You know I, what I'm talking about. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Those were my fantastic. Oh my god, I love that. Hopscotch and stuff. Nope. Sticks and rocks. Well, that, that's because he grew up in the Philippines. So hopscotch is like a step up from sticks and rocks. That's all you He's need. like, we didn't have chalk we in the chalk. Philippines. I thought you so would take rocks, really take rocks and, rocks and just scratch it across the pavement. <laughs> <laughs> Did anyone else eat grass? No. Thank you. You so, ate grass? No, because I didn't like, eat it normally, but I was like... <laughs> He didn't eat it normally, but he picked it up and put it in his mouth and chewed it. <laughs> Not regular. The word I meant was regularly. Well, I don't think anyone ate grass regularly, but as a child, you do things like I also tried dry dog food at once, but that's not something I did on a regular Wait, well, occasion. So- <laughs> What would uh, make you, you would eat work. grass though? Just like oh, it smells well, nice. I, no, and no, no, no. So kid, I had a pet curious. goat. Yeah. I got a pet goat at the age of seven. <laughs> well, of course you did. And yeah. I wanted to teach her that she eats the grass. So oh, I got totally down on all story. fours and I ate the grass, and then she ate the grass, and I was like, "That's right. That's what you do." <laughs> <laughs> that is way worse than me just going up and saying, hmm, "I'm a kid. Let me be curious." Yeah. She's like, "Let me train my goat how to eat the grass." <laughs> No, we would dare each other to eat stuff. Do uh, eat yeah. that word? Oh, no, yeah. I would do it for like the triple dog. Dare I mean, you? I grew up you like, on a farm. Though. I grew <laughs> up with a lot of dog. animals, so it was just like. But you also like take the blade of grass and you'd like whistle between your hands. Oh, oh my yeah. Yeah. I, I just took the blade. The yeah, you got to use the leaf and then blow it through. <laughs> yeah, like we used harmonica? the leaf. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Yeah. I mean, I can't make fun of anyone right now. I literally just said I taught my goat how to eat grass. <laughs> you did. You really did. So. Never held that one down. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yeah. What no, is, it was great. This podcast, podcast just kind of went a left turn. <laughs> it did. They always take a sharp turn somewhere. Sharp turn. But that's how they stay entertaining. It's true. Because, yeah. you know, you can't just keep it about one thing. You really just have to, like, because it's a conversation. And if we had other random people here with us, how would the conversation go? That's what a podcast is. You're just meant to sort oh, yeah. of, you know, have some direction, but let it flow because people need to stay entertained. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. I think we're pretty I good mean, at that. Yeah, I think so too. I mean, some of the my favorite podcasts that I listen to are almost like an hour long, and it starts off as one thing, has sort of like a peaking point where it finishes that conversation, and then it veers off into something else where you're like, "How did we get here?" But I love <laughs> this. <laughs> so you're the creative director. <laughs> you were the director. <laughs> yeah, so I was the director. He so, was the creative yeah, director. Robert, yeah. you were a cinematographer. Correct. Yes. Yeah. So tell us a little about about the cinematography experience. It, aside from Bethany telling you to turn the fucking camera off. <laughs> <laughs> it was uh just just based on this project. It was it was it was a it was a little bit of a um it was busy, mm-hmm. I have to say. It was busy. Um definitely uh it was a workout. <laughs> yeah. But it it 
it was nice because like it kind of tested what we were capable of. Yeah. You know, um, yeah. you know, be able to cover every aspect of the shoot and, um, you know, being involved in some of the direction and some of the uh, pre, pre, pre-production, production and post-production, you know, and, you know, that's pretty much the definition of cinematographer is just mm-hmm. being able to be yeah. hands-on into all of those aspects. So, um, and then of course the editing is, and well. of course the editing, the post production editing, and um, you know, and and I'm happy that I have these two because they really helped me out with every every step of the way, um, especially with the editing because after all this craziness and and I'm over here sitting in front of the computer and being on my zone and editing and all that stuff, um, I tend to uh, just have one mind into one thing, and I I kind of miss a lot of. Uh, things that I should be, you know, aware of, and, and you know that's why revisions are great. And um, you know, I have I have these guys. Um, well, I live with Bethany, but I have him come over, and uh, we would all sit down and just watch yeah. to two in the morning, to two in the morning, and just watch, <laughs> and then and no. just do a bunch of revisions. <laughs> yeah. And uh, and I was and you know they would be like, oh hey, you guys get you gotta do this. Like I like what you did. Th- I like what you did there, but mm. you know I think it'd be better if you do this. And I was yeah. like, oh yeah, you're right. Like actually, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> you know, or I would so, just be downstairs and I would hear the two of them upstairs like <laughs> cackling like little girls. Like, <laughs> and I'm like, what are you guys laughing about? And they're like, oh, this thing is so great. And I'm like, you guys are literally laughing about a Barbie doll video <laughs> and you're grown men. And I'm like trying to practice guitar. Can you stop? Can you stop? <laughs> so the best part, the best part is that like we're, we're over here, like we're grown men. Grown so men. like. But She's over you? there practicing guitar, and then I and I we're over there kind of like going over the edit and everything, and then and then we were done, and then we were done with like the first revision, and Mel's like, you know what would be really cool if the doll would wink. <laughs> <laughs> that would just make it. That would just be cherry on top. And I'm saying, I'm like, wow. He's like, you what? know what? It would be cool. <laughs> And I'm like, I don't know what I don't know what I have to do to like make it happen, but I'm gonna do my research and just make it happen. It's like yeah. give me like a give me a day or two and I'll try to no, I'll try be- to make it work. Best part, <laughs> the best part was that um I like I, I just kept getting really irritated with watching the it, like over and over. Like when I know when people see the video for the first time, they're like, That's awesome. And I'm like, I've literally seen this three thousand times 3, and I wanna stab myself times. in the eyes. Yeah. <laughs> and um so like I just got to a point where it's like, I'm not gonna sit here and watch you guys edit this anymore because I'm losing my mind. So I would go do my own thing. And then I remember like they called me up and they're like, okay, Bethany, Bethany, oh my God, it's done. It's done. You ready? We're going to watch. We're going to play. And then they like played it for me. And then like it gets towards the end and they like both kind of like do that thing where they look at me because they're like, you know, you know, a good part's coming up. And then they're like, <laughs> did you see it? And I was like, <laughs> she winked. <laughs> And they were so excited about it. And I'm like, oh my God. Good job, guys. Good it job. It took us hours to do that. Like, we need validation. <laughs> I was like, it's so good. I really love No, like, I really did love it. But I was kind of like. <sighs> she's like, she's like, I'm Barbie now. I'm going I'm to really bed. Yeah, yeah. I was like, not only did I direct bed. this thing. And like, we were all there the day of it. Like, I've listened to you guys laughing and editing. <laughs> and I've seen so much of this Barbie thing that I'm like, can someone please just get me a drink and get me out of this house? <laughs> <laughs> I really not like oh I don't want to be here anymore. But, but I mean, with that said, ultimately it was a it was a good experience. Yeah, but now know, that overall. it is done, I have watched it several times completed because I'm yeah. like, hey, this is this is actually quite this. nice. Like yeah. we did this. Yeah. Like when it's done, it's great. But like when you're ever. watching it, revising it, and revising it, and you know it's not done yet, it becomes like a stressful process yeah. where you're like, yeah, yeah. oh, I can like even I so know this night the oh, night before yeah. he rendered it, he goes. Is there anything else? (laughs) Is there anything else now that before I render this thing, I was like, no, bro, let's do it. I probably call them the next day at like 11 or more. Like, yeah, yeah. hey, bro. um, We got to do this again. We got to. There's there's a couple part. There's this part that this is not. I don't like it. Yeah. And he was like, he's at work. I was like, I'm so sorry, bro. (laughs) Call me tonight. (laughs) You know, yeah. the, the thing is with, with um, if you're an editor and, and you could relate to this, never title the final, pro, the final draft, draft final <laughs> draft. Because no, then no, be you got to draft never. one, final draft two, exactly. final draft 3.5. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. So the work there's with always going to be a revision. Final draft 3,000. <laughs> 
So never, final, never, final draft draft. Never name the that's final, final like draft. Yeah, because final, it will not be the draft. final draft. Yeah, that's from the recording studio days. The final, 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 e- final. Exactly. Yeah. exactly. You're like, look for the however many finals there are. And then that's the, one with the, the most final. Fun. Fun. Yeah, the, but like the thing is, is like, I know, and I, I feel like this works for anybody who's like, whether you're editing a photo or whether you're yeah. making a painting or whether whatever it may be, you already know what your final product's going to look like. And you already visualized it in your head. So I remember, like, I was just, like, watching them edit this. And I'm like, I already know what this is supposed to look like. And the Mm -hmm. fact that you guys are even asking my opinion when you know what it's supposed to look like. Mm -hmm. No, get it right. Talk to me when you're done. And then they would finally, the final, 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 final product. (laughs) I was like, yay, we did it. it, (laughs) It's done. No more Barbie editing. (laughs) But I, but I know we feel that way about like everything. Everything. everything that yeah, we that's do. creative. It was the same yeah. thing with the music video. Yeah, you know? but, oh, absolutely. Yeah. But I mean, uh, this was like the first um, like production that we've done with I Create with Mel, where we were able to actually use a cinema camera. When we did B Lyrics music video, we did use um, we used our five Ds. Yeah, um, and th- th- I, don't get me wrong I love those they're great cameras but they're not cinema cameras yeah. so it's so crazy to think that we are going to be doing another video for uh, Be I Lyric at some point mm-hmm. and we are actually going to have um, cinema cameras to film with her because it's just going to make the production level completely yeah. different but I will say I don't know if I want to see Robert doing any like uh, rollerblading backwards <laughs> down oh, Main yeah. Street <laughs> with a cinema camera in yeah. his hand. Yeah. Well, you're insured. Like, we did I mean, talk about 5D, insurance. It's fine. We did talk about insurance. So. Insurance. insurance. Yeah. Um. Hi, insurance company. Yeah. He was on hold rollerblades. Hold on. Hold on. I'm a little insulted. I don't think you guys have any faith in my rollerblading skills. I Actually, do. he's an right. excellent rollerblader. Thank you so you much. So we just don't have any faith in Albany to have the road smooth. <laughs> the road smooth. Well, it was it's it was, it was Hudson, but was still, Hudson. I don't know if I have faith in them either. No, <laughs> no. Shell Hudson's roads is nice. Yeah, well, it was the one road that they're like, we need to make this look nice. We need to have this area look yeah. nice. So we're yeah. like, we're good, we're good, we're good. Yeah. We can we could do it on this street, but yeah. no, thank God good. it was not cobblestone or Robert definitely would have I hit that died. car. I yes. I, I, yeah. yeah, there would have been some injuries for sure. <laughs> but this has all been very rewarding for sure. Mm-hmm. I agree. It reached a lot of people so far. So you know, far, so yeah. No, I'm excited. Yeah. It's uh, it's doing great. People. It's doing yeah. great. And um, I, I think did you did you uh, submit it to a uh, like a film festival thing? Or no, I submitted the light to? in me to the film festival. Oh, yes. right. Has, we are past submission date for this. Ah, uh, okay. But I feel like this definitely be just the remarks we got on the video itself. Mm-hmm. Um, just how we put. We made a fashion film. That's really what we did. Yeah, yeah. Um, that's what it was. And it was the first, the first of first fashion film. Yeah, ever. on this on this on this scale. Yeah. Um, in terms of the story, yeah. the, the quality, um, so it definitely deserves to be in a film festival. So yeah, yeah. So after the credits, can we have a BTS scene where Bethany walks in on you two guys playing with Barbie dolls? <laughs> Actually, well, funny enough. The funny thing is, <laughs> oh yeah, we had we had a, a, a doing night. pre-production. Pre, no, this was mid after the first shoot. Oh, I'm thinking about something else then. Are you yeah, talking no, about I'm when we went about, to Darrell's yeah. studio? And yeah, 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 I'm thinking no, about that. That's what I'm thinking. No, that's what I'm that was about. yeah, no, that that was um, I would say in the midst of production because we had already filmed the first day. Yeah. Right, that's and true. This yeah, was we had when we the took day. the You're Barbies right. to the hair salon to get their wigs. Mm-hmm. Put on, and then yeah. they needed. They still needed to get their um, outfits, outfits yeah. put on and stuff. But um, we <laughs> went. We had a mental breakdown, <laughs> the both of us. And I then actually, somehow I, ended I tried up to send you pictures. I have Barbies. pictures. <laughs> Yeah, uh, yeah. Um, I can't even talk right now. Mel and I probably spent like what was that like a close to about an hour and a half, maybe two hours, yeah. just playing with these four Barbies and lining them up in these perfect little ways. And I'm like, oh, take their picture like that. Yeah, that looks good. Oh, yeah, pose her like that. Oh, can we? Oh my God, he has a crown that lights up. Yeah, let's put it behind him. Oh, I love. It was a full out photo shoot. Yeah, and we did like a Barbie. whole. Which honestly, Barbie. I can send you some pictures and drop them because like I have this. I have this great shot of Mel where he's like standing with like his phone camera taking pictures and they're like all these Barbies are like lined up on this little pedestal in this area and I'm like why is it 90 
1 p.m. on a Friday <laughs> evening and you and I are out taking pictures of Barbie dolls Barbie when dolls. we're adults who could be like, I don't know, <laughs> going bar. doing, yeah, like at a bar yeah, or dog. maybe like going, I don't know, having like a, a family party or doing something and we're literally alone <laughs> in a hair salon photographing Barbie dolls together. <laughs> Crazy. And I was just like, this is so weird. Yeah. And I love it because I wouldn't have it any other way. Right, yeah, at all. Yeah. <laughs> so where can people watch the video? Um, It's currently on Facebook and Instagram on the I create underscore production page. You should have a YouTube channel. I need to. Yeah. I'm working on a website and a YouTube channel. Yeah, 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 yeah absolutely. Totally. We might even end up, uh, yeah, We I think we've shared links on all of our personal pages as mm -hmm. well. So if anybody does follow any of our personal pages, um, you know to go and check that out. Um, yeah. We might even share something on our Coffee and Sunset's Facebook page since that is public. Yeah. Yep. Um, I know we just haven't done that because we were trying to focus everything on being dropped under iCreate because mm -hmm. that was a big announcement for you coming yeah. out with the iCreate Productions. Um but yeah, overall, I would just say like, it was really great working with you guys. Yeah, I love always. you guys so much. And it was yeah. really, really fun and stressful. Stressful. One thing I love <laughs> about the three of us is that we all have our roles, but like, we still like mix in with each other. Like, we even though I'm not a videographer, I can yeah. say, because of my creative mind, I can say, look, I want this shot like this. You know what I'm saying? Or if I like this shot that I had in mind, Robert will be like, eh. That shot won't work, but this shot might be better. Yeah. And, and yeah. Same as Bethany, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. she has the photography and video background too. So it's like, it's, we just bounce ideas. Sometimes it's really time. hard. Like when we're actually doing like the credits on the, um, the videos, <laughs> we're like, what do we title ourselves yeah, right. at? Because I was like, I technically know I directed this whole thing, but I also did some cinematography. I also did some set design. I also did this. Yeah. And then Mel's like, Mel all has his hands in every single pot. <laughs> so it's just like, what exactly did we all do? So we kind of have to just be like, all right, what was our main thing yeah. that we each did? Because we can't, because sometimes it's, ridiculous when you see on a production it's like i directed i produced and then the I crow filmed, direct. yeah, i did yeah, this yeah, i did yeah, that and it's like all right list. you literally did 10 million things right why credit it everyone sounds else? like ridiculous yeah. just give yeah. everybody one credit and leave it at that because mm -hmm. guess what we know you did a lot of work because everyone on any kind of production ends up doing work the coffee boy sometimes up ends up being a gaffer or he ends up doing this or he doing ends up doing that yeah. like or yeah AD, everyone does everything PA, so it's just like, like get your credit and be happy yeah. with it because you were part of it yeah yeah well, and it's that's awesome. how we yeah, take and, it and yeah and piggybacking uh, on that this would not be possible with everybody without everybody oh involved. my god everybody yeah. like you the know, makeup artists so. the hairstylists the um uh, the, the the business owners, the, even Jordan's parents were there. Yeah. Thank God that they were there because they just, you know, they helped everything come together. Like everybody mm -hmm. becomes something. Yeah. Um, even one of the model's moms came and she helped us move some furniture around when we first got there. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, oh my God, thank Shout out to Gabby's mom. We always yeah. love you. Yes. She came in and she's like, oh, let me help you move a couch. So it's like so many people do so many different things on sets like this mm -hmm. that it's like, you know, I'm listed as a director, but guess what I did a lot of? I mopped the stairs five times that day. Yeah. <laughs> I mopped them once. <laughs> <laughs> I mopped the stairs so many yeah. times and I was like, oh my God, if someone comes in and buys one more burrito, I'm going to have to mop the stairs again. And then, so it's just, we, there's yeah. so many things that you do and um, everybody deserves the utmost credit that we possibly could give out. And yeah. um, seriously, shout out to everybody that was on the set. You guys really did an amazing job and we couldn't have done it without you. Uh -oh. Models, hairstylists, makeup artists Designer. um designers Designer. um stylists yeah was, everyone <laughs> seriously hell yeah oh great job guys thank you man beautiful thank you, thank video you. all the links are below and we can cut here and do some drinking if you want <laughs> Sounds amazing. Sounds good. Sounds good to me. We're going to end right. with the Shine Bright theme song. No, I'm just kidding. Please don't. Please don't. Please don't. <laughs> Please don't. It's already embedded in my mind. I'm dreaming about it. Yes, yeah. He wakes up in the middle of the night singing shine it. Shine bright, shine. I'm <laughs> going back to sleep. Yeah. There you are. There you are. Play it on you'll, your phone right next to your Yeah, room. right. You'll find me like in the corner going, shine bright, shine. <laughs> In a fetal He's position. In a fetal position. Yeah. <laughs>
the aftermath. We should make that the horror of making a Barbie tale. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god! It's like the PTSD where it's like, hey, yeah, okay. Either way, we're gonna end this. Rick, thank you so much for having us on your podcast tonight. Um, make sure you guys subscribe. They've actually been really doing really well, and yes. I'm so happy to see how many fans you got out there. This is quick creative loitering. This is. Whatever, this is raw, man. We're literally you can, you can, you can, you can do whatever you want. You can get arrested for loitering in the wrong places. <laughs> no. No? Not in New York. They don't enforce anything. Then why does it say no loitering? What happens if I loiter? Nothing. Well then Did, why does it say no loitering? You can pee all over the place, flash, it's New York. They don't enforce anything. And oh. even if you do get arrested, you're out in an hour. Creative loitering. What no. that didn't even sound like you. No, that sounded really good. Give me that announcer voice. Creative loitering. No, no or you could do it like his, he's got his on his podcast and it's like creative loitering. That's what I was trying. <laughs> I know people loitering. hate that. They're like, will you please change that? that? I'm I like, love no. it. I love it. It's I'm so like, no, weird, I'm never changing that. Yeah, never changing it. In a quarter creative mile, loitering. take a left turn. Yeah. At that was a good. <laughs> that was the one. Loitering. One man, one podcast. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Rick Shield. <laughs> shield coming at you <laughs> he added a d on the end of that <laughs> oh, i did that yeah. he put the d <laughs> the d <laughs> going back to that sharp turn we were talking about earlier. it's okay it's okay you just uh, gotta let the tires it are smoking yeah exactly right. it's coming in hot yeah in a quarter mile take a left hand turn at creative loitering on youtube and instagram and facebook and please have a great day and goodbye <laughs> and cut <laughs> I think that was good that was, that was, we could end it with that <laughs> Yo. wow my ears thank you for listening to the creative loitering podcast don't forget to ring the bell and subscribe and like and comment below and enable notifications and click the heart and leave a review and swipe right and Patreon and only fans and make a donation and follow me on Facebook and Snapchat and Instagram and Twitter and WhatsApp and WeChat and TikTok and QQ and QZone and Reddit and Twitch and YouTube and Vimeo and Pinterest and Periscope and Valence and Zell and Venmo and Untapped and Alpha and Ubo and House Party and Peanut and Caffeine and 23 Snaps and Likey and Date Tracks and Academia and Fark and MeWe and Tumblr and LinkedIn and Tagged and Next Door and Mixed and Deviant Art and Quirra and Flickr and Meetup and Reverb Nation and Goodreads and Flickster and Caring Bridge and Wattpad and Crunchyroll and eBay and Smugmug and Skyrock and My Heritage and Live Journal and VK and Classmates and SoundCloud and Bubbly and We Heart It and Influencer and Blah Blah.